Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video EU3200i Maintenance. In this video, we'll show you how to properly maintain your generator so you can continue to enjoy it for many years. An improperly maintained generator can potentially be dangerous to the operator and to those nearby. For additional information regarding the maintenance of your EU3200i, always refer to the owner's manual or contact your Honda Power Equipment dealer. Changing the engine oil is an important step of generator maintenance which should be followed according to the maintenance schedule in the owner's manual. Note that the first oil change should be completed after the first month of use or 20 hours of runtime. Draining the oil while the engine is still slightly warm helps the oil to drain quickly and completely. To begin draining the engine oil, first turn the engine switch off. Using a screwdriver, loosen the maintenance cover screw remove the maintenance cover, and set it aside. Place a suitable container next to the engine, positioning the container so that it will catch the used oil from the filler neck. Remove the oil filler cap and tip the generator towards the drain pan to drain the engine oil. Allow the oil to drain completely before placing the generator back onto a level surface again. Properly dispose of the used oil according to local laws and regulations. With the generator on a level surface, place a small funnel into the oil filler hole and refill using about 15 ounces of SAE 10W30 SJ or later engine oil. Fill the engine with oil until the level is at the upper limit of the filler neck right before it would begin to drip out. Reinstall the oil filler cap securely and wipe off any spilled oil. Replace the maintenance cover and tighten the screw securely. Inspecting and cleaning the engine's air filters properly can prevent poor performance and expensive engine repairs. If you operate your generator in dusty conditions, then servicing the air filters should be done more frequently. Start by loosening the maintenance cover screw. Remove the maintenance cover and set it aside. Now unsnap the two air cleaner cover clips. Remove the cover and the foam element from inside. Inspect for dirt and debris. Replace the filter if damaged, and if it's dirty, Follow these simple steps to clean and re-oil. Clean the air filter foam element in warm, soapy water. Rinse with water, squeeze gently, and allow to air dry completely. Once dried, place in a resealable bag with a small amount of engine oil to distribute the oil throughout the filter. Remove the filter and pat dry to remove the excess oil. Any excess oil can cause the engine to smoke. Remove the paper filter from the guide, and if it's dirty, replace it with a new one. Do not attempt to clean the paper air filter. Wipe both the air cleaner cover and air cleaner housing using a clean rag to prevent dirt from entering the engine. Now reinstall both filters. Spark plug inspection and replacement are required at set intervals to keep the engine running properly. Allow the engine to cool before servicing the spark plug. To access the spark plug, remove the spark plug maintenance cover and set it aside. Disconnect the spark plug cap by pulling upward and away from the engine and push to the side, cleaning any dirt or debris from around the spark plug cap area. Using a spark plug wrench or a 5 8 inch socket, loosen and remove the spark plug. Closely inspect the spark plug electrodes and sealing washer. Replace the spark plug if the electrodes are worn, damaged, or fouled, or the sealing washer is damaged or missing. Measure the spark plug electrode gap using a commercially available gap gauge and adjust the gap if necessary. The spark plug gap should be between 0.6 and 0.7 millimeters. Install the spark plug by hand and thread it until it stops. Once seated, 
use a torque wrench to tighten the spark plug to 9 pound-feet. If you don't have a torque wrench, tighten a new spark plug half of a turn, and if reinstalling a used spark plug, tighten one eighth to a quarter of a turn until secure. Reinstall the spark plug cap, followed by the spark plug maintenance cover. Cleaning the spark arrestor is another integral step in properly maintaining your generator that should be completed every 100 hours to function as designed. Before cleaning the spark arrestor, be sure that the engine has cooled completely, as the muffler will be very hot if the generator was recently running. To clean the spark arrestor, you'll need to remove a total of six screws. First, remove the two screws on the bottom of the rear cover and carefully separate the cover. Then remove the four screws that secure the muffler protector and set the muffler protector aside. Now remove the small spark arrestor screw and pull out the spark arrestor. Use a wire brush to clean the carbon deposits from the spark arrestor and inspect the screen for damage. Be careful to avoid damaging the screen. The spark arrestor must be free of breaks and tears. Replace the spark arrestor if it's damaged. Install the spark arrestor, the muffler protector, and the rear cover in the reverse order of removal. Note that the two slightly larger screws go on the top and the smaller ones on the bottom of the muffler protector. For any additional information regarding the maintenance of your EU3200i, refer to your owner's manual or contact your Honda Power Equipment dealer.